Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Scorpios. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today, Scorpios. Hopefully, you're having a great Monday. I know you are because that's the intention you set. Let's get right into your reading. Okay, Scorpios, let's go. Most High God in the universe is giving a special reading for my amazing Scorpios as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. I am talking to my intents ambitious, faithful, loyal, brave, focused, resourceful, passionate, true friends. That's what they call you. Scorpions. Yes. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpios. You know what? I'm The, the image that I'm getting as I um, am shuffling the cards here, which is a nice one, a very, very nice one. Scorpios. Uh-huh. I'm seeing a lot of wonderful things happen for you all, and it's coming out in the cards. This is really, really nice. You know, okay, a lot of we're having a, we're experiencing a lot of changes, Scorpio. So your reading is going to be real short because this is nice. All right, see, I'm looking how you all are now looking back and seeing exactly where you would feel smothered, you know, in a relationship. You all are a pretty intense sign. You love really hard. You don't do anything half effort, right? And you're a very ambitious sign, but there are certain spaces where you do feel like, man, this person would restrict me. Like they would make me feel bad for being intense, like being this, um, and intensity is a good thing, right? So, um, so I'm seeing you all look back on certain relationships and going, wow, you know what? I really dodged a bullet. <laughs> um, and I'm seeing, look at this, we have the King of Wands. We also have the nine of wands. We have the six of pentacles. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We also have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury, which is uh, Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet. And then we also have the knight of wands, right? Yes, 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 yes. So yeah, so I'm seeing your business really starting to take off, like really, really do well. Right now, we have the Magician card and Mercury is retrograde right now. So there could be like, things could be kind of sort of slowly moving along, but guess what? They're moving along. They're they're moving along very, very well. And I see you are receiving some money. So somebody's been waiting to hear back on receiving some money. It's coming. It's coming, coming, coming. And I'm seeing you all very happy about it, which is nice. Very, very happy. There's a lot of fire you know, in your chart. So I don't know, some of you all may have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart. But nevertheless, some of you all are really just have been like really anticipating something happening, you know, in your life. Or maybe you have the influence of an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo somewhere um, in your life. And again, it doesn't have to be their sun sign. I want to be crystal clear because when I throw out signs, people are like, I don't know anybody of that sign. It doesn't have to be their sun sign, but it's a fire in you. It could be somebody who is igniting a flame in you or just kind of sort of like, I can feel like something is about to happen. I can just, I just know it. I can feel it, right? So yes, keep that same energy because something great is happening, right? Something great. I see you all receiving some money. So I don't want you to look back and go, gosh, was I sabotaging myself? Was I like restricting myself, like restricting my own, um, the release of things by overthinking this? Maybe, right? Especially if you're with somebody who is, uh, you know, telling you to relax, like, just relax, stop thinking about it so much or whatever. You're a very intense sign. So again, you could be thinking about like, I know I feel like some more money. I'm getting some more money, whether it's going to be a raise on my job or a grant is going to come through and be approved or something. I can just feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. And you're right. It's coming. It's coming sooner than you realize. The number 11, since today is the 11th of the month, the number 11 is... Um, people see the number 11 more than they realize. Number 11 actually symbolizes light. It's a master number. It illuminates the truth. The reason why I'm saying you're seeing the number 11, because when you see that master number, it's God trying to get a message through to you. So that's where you want to stop and be in receiving mode. Okay, God, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> what? You know, so some of you all may see it in different forms. You can see the number 11. You could also see 10 plus one. Maybe you see 10 and then a number one on somebody's license plate, or you see $10 and one cent on your receipt or whatever. You could see two plus nine. You could see three plus eight. You could see four plus seven. You could see five plus, um, five plus six. You can see six plus five. You can see seven plus four. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In any form, 11, right? All the way up to back back to 10 plus one, 
but you can see the number 11 in so many different forms. You can see um, uh, two things standing side by side like this, where you see these just these two things right here that can look like a number 11. It comes in so many different forms. You want to be able to be sensitive to that, right? A lot of times people don't believe in signs and wonders and things like that, but I'm telling you, God is trying to get messages through to you that's going to calm you down. So just say, okay, pause, put everything on pause. That thing you've been waiting for is coming. Just relax, for real, just relax, it's coming. And so if you're just constantly moving and just like it has nervous energy, and we're not talking about the fire in you, that intuition, then you may miss it, right? You may miss the signs. So you don't want to miss any signs. Yes, Scorpios. Let's see. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 So I see, is it like all of a sudden it's just going to happen like, like this, like the tower, like all of a sudden it's just going to happen. Your intuition is too strong, like for you not to know that something is about to happen. So just hold on. It's happening. It's coming. It's coming. That money you've been waiting for is coming. I'm seeing perfect synergy for you in the workplace. So I see a lot of your careers going better than you than you had anticipated. It's like, okay, I knew it was going to go well, but not this well. I see your business doing extremely well. So it looks like some of you all are not only going to be just working your regular job, but also your business. Like a maybe, um, like I said, I see you in a happy, healthy relationship, but it's also adding to your legacy wealth. So it's not just money. It's just the, it's everything else that goes along with it, whether you have kids and they're tied to your legacy or you have a partner that's tied to your legacy, but I'm seeing just wealth all around you. Yeah. And in terms of love, wealth and joy, wealth and happiness, wealth and peace, the whole nine yards, boom, here's your card. So this right here, death, rebirth, you want to continue decluttering anything that doesn't serve your highest purpose. If a relationship is over, move on, right? Yeah, you don't even want to have to clutter your mind with fear and doubt because you already know that it's coming. Because this will be you. Mouth open until you can see the tonsils in the back of your throat excited. Yes, Scorpio, very nice. And then we also have this right here, getting near a body of water. Yes, like this will be me. Yeah. Yeah. Like living at home for six months and then back to the cold weather for the next six months. So yes, right here on the beach, right? So this is where, again, if you're not able to get to where you, you're on a beach or near a body of water, you want to be near a pool, take a spiritual bath, spiritual shower, somewhere where water is involved so that you can really calm your energy down and hear exactly from God. This crown chakra repre represents God level of clarity, but that thing that you've been waiting for, if you've been waiting on more money and something to pop off, you got to remember Mercury being retrograde distorts the communication because it's the communication planet. And so things may not, you may feel like something is coming through, but it's like, don't get antsy and feeling like, man, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? Mercury is only going to be retrograde for a few more days. Relax. It's coming. Let's pull an oracle card. Let's pull an oracle card and see. All right. Here we go. Ooh, connect with your womb, right? And this is for men and women. So, of course, you look at this and like, okay, man doesn't have womb, right? Your divine feminine sign. That's men and women, Scorpios. So, this means connecting with your passion, like, what are you really, really passionate about? Like, are you passionate about whatever, your business, passionate about whatever, your hobbies, whatever. Whatever you're passionate about, that's what you want to connect with. Because the thing that you've been wanting, you want, you've been wanting that, that family, you know, that energy that's on your frequency. You want a family, you want a significant other, a mate, you want kids, you want a, you want a thriving business. All of this, you're connecting with your passion. That's exactly what this means when it says connect with your womb. It's actually you connecting with what are you passionate about? So this is what you're going to connect with because that's what's going to bring you every single thing that you want. Okay? That's what I have for you. Have a great one. But I know you will because that's the intention you set. Bye.